do a cleaning routine on any of these coolers, the bottom loaders, uh, KK coolers and top loaders. First of all, unplug your machine. This is to enable the hot water to cool down so that when you actually come to do it, you don't scold yourself. Right, what you need to do then is take a, an old bottle, right, preferably use one of these disposable ones because once you've mixed, done the mixture, the, uh, the bottle needs to be disposed of. Or you could keep it and just use it for cleaning, just, you know, just specifically for cleaning. So you don't really want to be using one of these because these are the rigid, uh, expensive bottles. So what you need is a full uh, five litre or I don't know how much that is in gallons. One gallon, I think, just over a gallon. Uh, a vinegar. What you need to do is pour the entire contents of that into the bottle. Then, using tap water from your own faucet, refill this bottle all the way up to the same level that the vinegar was, and then put that into the bottle. And that's your solution, 50-50. The, uh, the unit stand for about half an hour, the water sh should be cold enough. But always remember that it may still be hot, so don't, you know, be put your fingers in it. So what you need to do is turn the unit on. This is the drain plug cover, and it's on all units. If you look, it's on 7 Series and on KK's... all the same. So what you need to do is unscrew, remove that, and get yourself a pail or bucket. Push it right up against the unit and remove. Water will then start to pour out. What you can do, to make sure you've got all the water out, is lean it backwards. At the same time, depress the hot. And just keep it like that until the water stops. And then take it off, put it away. plug back in and you don't need to put this back on because you'll be you'll be taking it off later so just put, keep it to one side so that uh, you know where it is and now what you can do is you can put your solution of 50-50 into your cooler or if it's seven series that you would use the same
your hot water's on. Cold doesn't matter, just a hot. So once the water's uh, filled the tank and on the, the top loaders the actual water stop going down, you need to leave it for an hour to let the solution do its work within the hot tank. Once the hour's up, what you can what you need to do then is take a jug and draw a couple of litres or a litre so from each tap. You may have three taps, so make sure that you do every single tap. On the seven series, like on this seven series here, there's three. So once again, from each, what about a litre at least from each? Also with, if you have a K-cup one, you need to do is draw the cold a litre, draw the hot a litre and what you need to do is stick it onto full cup, put your jug under and do the full jug a full the, the highest cup size for as many times as it takes to get a litre. So once you've drained the litre from each tap and done the uh, litre using the KK, what you need to do then is you need to unplug your unit and once again leave it to stand for half an hour 45 minutes so that the water coming out the back is going to be cold or not so warm what you can then do is once you've left it for an hour we do go back as you've already removed the cover all you need to do This should all smell of vinegar, which is as you can see that when it's done, so just give it a good little shake. Solution 50-50 and remove it. What I suggest with the uh, top loaders is that you keep draining water until the entire bottle is empty so that when you pull it off you're not going to get water everywhere. What you now need is take your good bottle and what you can do is you fill it with your own tap water 
because we're using this to flush so it doesn't need to be uh, filtered water or anything it can be just any water so once you've filled that up we can then and allow the unit plug it in and allow the unit to top up right so uh, we don't need to wait an hour for it to actually uh, warm up this time because all we're doing is flushing the water the, the the vinegar out so uh, as long as it's plugged in and it's sucking up sucked up the water what you can then do is get your jug again and each faucet drain water until if you sniff it you can't smell vinegar do that for all the And as before, the use your re once the bottle's empty, you can actually take the cap out, replace it, and your new bottle with new water full of tap water to uh, put that back on, and then so. As the other units press until you get, so you can no longer smell vinegar. Also, with this one, don't forget you need to keep doing uh, large cup size and all the thingy until you can no longer smell vinegar. <coughs> Once you no longer smell vinegar, what you can then do is just get a small cup and take a tiny sample of water smell it and have a little taste if you can still take if you can taste vinegar then you need to carry out the process so keep repeating the process even if you need to do two bottles you know uh, you keep going until you can no longer smell and no longer taste vinegar So now that you've got rid of the vinegar smell and the vinegar taste, the cooler is clean and ready. So what you need to do is just take out your old tap water. You can, if you want, uh, leave the water in. It's up. To, it's it's totally up to you. But what I would what I would normally do is turn it around because this water is not, uh, not filtered and just from your tap then I would get rid of it so once again open that lean it back press red and until the water stops coming out doesn't matter if there's only just a, a little bit, you know, in there. But then this time, though, what you need to do is put the plug in and put the cap on. bottle in, put, uh, plug it in, and on the hot and cold, and then the unit is all clean. With the top loaders, once again, I suggest that even once the, the smell and the taste is gone, I recommend that you just keep going until all the water's gone, so that when you lift it, you're not going to get water anyway. I have to do a cleaning routine on any 
of these coolers, the bottom loaders, uh, KK coolers and top loaders. First of all, unplug your machine. This is to enable the hot water to cool down so that when you actually come to do it, you don't scold yourself. Right, what you need to do then is take a, an old bottle, right, preferably use one of these disposable ones because once you've mixed, done the mixture, the, uh, the bottle needs to be disposed of. Or you could keep it and just use it for cleaning, just, you know, just specifically for cleaning. So you don't really want to be using one of these because these are the rigid, uh, expensive bottles. So what you need is a full uh, five litre or I don't know how much that is in gallons. One gallon, I think, just over a gallon. Uh, a vinegar. What you need to do is pour the entire contents of that into the bottle. Then, using tap water, of your own faucet, refill this bottle all the way up to the same level that the vinegar was. 